How are you, Dan? Good, how are you, Javier? Uh, very good, thank you. We're here in beautiful and New Hampshire still, uh, well, we're technically in the fall, right. although it feels like summer. It's very hot. <laughs> and uh, I would love to come in the winter. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's, uh, this is winter paradise, huh? Yeah, definitely. On the pick up this spot uh, to introduce the new 2018 uh, Accord, 10th generation, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And you are a big part of the story, the product manager. Yeah, I'm the product planner on this car and I'm happy to introduce it and launch it with you guys so before that before that can you tell us like what's the job of the product planner I mean uh, to me I mean I know what it is but uh, for our audience it's a very important it's like key position in the whole process right 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 so basically the product planner what I do is I work with the R&D team in Japan and I work with our teams here in America and we basically pull the package together so we figure out the kind of content we want to put in the car what kind of features we want to put in the car to make sure that it's competitive uh, along with that, we work on other items like pricing, uh, what our ratio is that, you know, how many of these cars are going to sell, how many of these cars in terms of different transmissions, different engines. Yeah. So we talk, we handle a lot of things and it's, it's a great process and it keeps us definitely busy. <laughs> yeah, and you also obviously, as you mentioned, you take into consideration competition, like customer feedback and right. all those kind of things, right? Definitely. We always want to hear the feedback from our customers as well as you guys, the journalists, as well as our dealers. So we, we listen to everybody and, and try to do what we can. Pretty complex uh, process, I would it, say. It's huh? extremely complex, but you know, we take that feedback and we use it and we end up with something as nice as this. Yeah, and absolutely great job on that because oh, thank you. And we thank have you. driven uh, uh, some, almost all of the variants that are there. So let me see if I get them right. There's a 1.5 engine, yes. a two point liter, yep. both turbocharged. Both turbocharged. There's the, within that, this one with the CVT, the manual, right. the automatic transmission with 10 speeds, right, right. and then the hybrid. Right, so on our 1.5 liter turbo, uh, we've got a CVT available and a six speed manual transmission. On our two liter turbo, we have a new 10 speed automatic transmission, and we also have a six speed manual transmission. And that one is actually out of the Civic Type R. It shares the same Wow, same Civic Type box. R. Yeah, wow. yeah, and the 2.0 liter is also developed similar architecture from the Civic R Type R. Amazing, so we're driving the one with the manual, obviously, yep. as you are seeing me uh, yep. shifting here. And I, to me, I think this is one of the most effective safety features, especially for teenagers, because yeah, you have your yeah. both hands it's, it's becoming, busy, right? It's becoming a lost art. <laughs> exactly. But anyway, so let's talk about a little bit of the general structure of the car, because I understand everything is new, right? Right, everything is new. So it's a, a little bit shorter, but much bigger inside. How did we were able to accomplish that? Yeah, so we were able to really maximize the packaging on the interior. We made the car a little lower, a little wider, and like you said, a little bit shorter, but we actually increased the interior volume and we increased the cargo volume. And a lot of that was the way we repackaged it. So we've got this new dash design that's very low profile, gives you better leg room, better visibility out of the windows. So as part of the redesign, I mean, everything is new, obviously, but like the center console, the screen and everything, and something that I noticed, and I guess a lot of people noticed, and part of the feedback, I guess, right. two buttons. It's the knobs, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that was a big thing. A I lot know. of people, you know, a lot of car companies have moved to just screens where you have to touch yeah. it, but a lot of people appreciate having an actual knob to turn. So like in the Odyssey, the new Odyssey, we had a volume knob come back. In the Accord, we added a, a knob for tuning and scrolling, and we've added hard buttons on the side for the more frequently used uh, functions. Mm -hmm. So it's gotten a lot of good feedback. I'm sure you've had some No, absolutely. Time because, I mean, like the, the touchscreen uh, volume uh, control, I mean, it's a nice thing, but like sometimes if you're driving and like you, you don't want to get distracted right. doing that. So right. having this is like almost a natural thing. You know right. where they are, you move them and all that. Absolutely. So the screen is new. The resolution of the screen is pretty amazing. I mean, like the, you, the, the graphics are incredible. Yeah. And uh, also what I noticed is that uh, the materials in the cars are like, they're different trims, obviously, right, but like right. everything looks like very high quality. It's materials. got a very nice premium look. We're using nicer materials. And again, it's a very sleek design. The whole concept was trying to have that expansive feel of a concert hall. So we've got these eight pillars that are pulled back. They're actually thinner than what they normally would be. Yeah, you so can you, see a lot. You yeah, actually you see the hood, great, which is you get a great view with the of view the hood, which you know that's something you don't expect from a Honda, right? Yeah. 
So it's, it provides a great view, you know, not a lot of clutter and very high quality materials. So you get a really good premium sense and feel. And we've also been able to move some of the seats down lower and create a little more headroom for people. And really, we lengthened the wheelbase by two inches. And that's the key that's thing a lot of for the That's back, a lot the because back, yeah. almost all of those two inches went in the back seat. So the rear passenger has a huge amount of legroom. It makes it very comfortable for them. And even with the hybrid, because I remember in the past generation, I know like the immediate past generation of the one before, the battery was back there right. and it took a lot of space from right, the truck, right? Right, the battery took up a lot of space. So for this new third generation hybrid, what we did is we repackaged the power unit put it up to the front near the engine and then we took the battery and put that under the rear seat. So that means the hybrid customer gets the exact same amount of cargo space, 16.7 cubic feet, which is class leading. Yeah. And they also get the folding so seats. So you, you don't have to give up uh, Yeah, you don't give up anything. anything. It's, yeah. it's amazing, it's great. But another thing that it's really important, obviously, is the exterior design. I mean, it looks much bodier, much elegant, like the line of the roof, it's right, like, right. like Car. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, um, it was a really good um, effort that the designers made. They wanted to make the car look very athletic, but also make it look very premium. So they gave it a really nice coupe-like roof line that slopes back and has a really short deck lid in the rear. So it really looks like it's muscular and it's got that sense of being fast and, and strong. Uh, another thing that you guys have uh, decided to do, and, and, and it's a really a great advantage for the customer, is that you have the Honda Sensing a suite of uh, safety technologies right. standard in all the models right. and that's something that hopefully you'll never use but if you were to like be in a situation where you use it I mean that's like life-saving technologies exactly it's for the first time ever we're making it standard on all Accords whether you buy an LX or you go all the way to the Touring you're gonna get the standard Honda safety suite you know stuff like collision mitigation braking uh, lane keeping assist uh, you know, we've got our new traffic sign recognition that, you know, it looks at the speed limit sign and puts it back into the car so you can see it very easily. Stuff like that, that really helps uh, provide a, a cushion of safety and comfort for the customer. Is the Honda Watch the, included in that or that's a separate package? So Honda Lane Watch is... Lane Watch, that one. Yeah, Lane Watch with the camera and all that yeah. has gone away for a cord. We replaced that with blind spot information because Lane Watch oh, okay. only worked on the passenger side. Well, yeah. So BSI blind spot information works on both sides. So it gives you alerts on cars that are in your blind spot on both ends. Talking about a car that has a, a lot of new technology, new design, new uh, platform, new engines, and all that. And what about the pricing? So pricing Obviously is new too. Pricing is <laughs> new. very attractive, right? And, and you, but it's going to be very, very close to what it currently is. So the current car uh, with Honda sensing and all that, you know, you, you would have to add a little bit of more money. On this new car, we're not doing that. We're keeping it very close to what the current car is. So it's gonna be a really, really good value because you've got a great design, you've got a lot of content, a lot of new features, and like I said, standard Honda sensing. So we're giving a good amount of value for customers and we're not charging them, charging them that price. There's been a lot of talk recently about uh, crossovers and SUVs taking over the, the sales numbers, and it's true. But this car still is very important for Honda, and like this segment, the mid right. sides and that, it's like extremely important. I think like two million uh, units a, a year of sales yeah, in absolutely, the U.S. Absolutely, absolutely. The, the Accord is always going to be important for Honda. It's been around over 40 years. This car has done a lot of great things for the brand, um, and as you know, we talked about earlier, we sell more than every CUV except two, and one of those CUVs is our CRV. Yeah. So. The fact that Accord does that well, you know, the sedan segment may be kind of slowing down, but Accord really has been super popular and still maintain uh, the sales that we need. Yeah, and when you talk about those uh, numbers, I mean, there's like huge, huge numbers because I, I think I, I read like in the whole history of the of the car for over 40 years, you sell about like one every two seconds? Yeah, we sold that's one crazy. every two seconds. That's that's a crazy number, right? I know, it's hard Amazing. to... Amazing, we've sold over 13 million. 13 million, yeah. it's hard to understand almost. Like, yeah, you, you put it into like... You think about it and you're like, yeah, wow, that's... One, one, two, okay, got it. One, <laughs> right. two, got it. Another one sold, <laughs> exactly. another one sold. Amazing. 
we enjoy the the drive here and uh i mean honda has been really in, in a really good uh trend up in sales with all the new products i think like seven new products only this year right yeah we've got new products that we've all launched you know we had the new civic si that came out actually before that we had the new civic yeah we had the civic si the civic type r we've had the new odyssey come out you know we've got this accord coming out so yeah we're on a very good run right now we've got new products coming out that are fresh and exciting for customers excellent well we're gonna keep enjoying here the the weather and the car here in new hampshire and i'm sure you're gonna be very busy after this because you never stop right you yeah, never stop I mean, this, this never stops but it's always a pleasure you know we're like you said we're in a beautiful area in new hampshire the weather's fantastic we're in a great car you know what, what, can, be what can we complain about right <laughs> Not you know? thank you very much thank Dan. You. Thank i you very really much. enjoy it <laughs>